Yo, what is it do everybody? I'm Martek. Hope you're having a good day. We got lots of news to go over. We're getting a pretty big update soon with new characters, new weapons, new skins, and some patch notes to go over as well. We also have the release dates for this update, and Evil Dead finally making its way to Steam on PC. Also, a Switch version of Evil Dead is on the horizon. Be sure to subscribe, ring the bell for more Evil Dead the game. Let's get it. Alright, Evil Dead tweeted out, We've been hiding something in the cellar and it's not Henrietta. And they teased new characters and new skins. From left to right, that's Amanda in her cop suit that was leaked a long while ago. And next to her is the Asylum Ash, which is a new skin for Leader Ash. And next to him is a brand new character, he's Brock Williams, Ash's father. We got more info on him later in the video. Next to him is a new skin for Pablo, and next to Pablo is a new demon character we're getting, which is Ball. A nice little tease of the update we're getting soon, but that's not all. We're also getting a Game of the Year edition that will include all previous DLCs and will also include this newest DLC pack as well. Prepare yourselves for a bloody good time. The father of all updates is on the way on April 26th. Join Brock Williams and the gang as they attempt to slay the master schemer himself, Ball. The Game of the Year edition will be available on PC, Epic, and Steam, Xbox One, X and S, and PS4 and 5. So this is pretty huge news. The Game of the Year edition and the updates will come out on April 26th for all consoles and now even on Steam. It's good that Evil Dead is finally coming to Steam. The more players for any game, the better, right? And this is a nice little change to the cover of the game. We got the Blacksmith, Mia, Ash, and Ruby going ham in the front cover now. So this new update slash DLC pack is called Who's Your Daddy? And again, it'll be included in the Game of the Year edition along with all the previous DLC packs. We do have additional information information on some of the characters in this Who's Your Daddy pack. New survivor, Brock Williams, Ash's old man himself. Brock is immune to knockbacks and has several auras he can unleash to help his squad mates. These auras change dynamically based on how many Williams family members are on the team. Honestly that sounds pretty cool, if you play as Brock, make sure to have plenty of the Williams on the same team. Honestly this might be broken when he first comes out because every character is always broken when they always come out. Next up some information on the new demon, the Schemer. Based on the notorious demon boss, Ball, the Schemer is a trap specialist who confuses survivors with illusions. His meat puppets inflict increased damage with a variety of attacks based on the fear levels of the survivors. So it sounds like Ball's main purpose is to scare you with his illusions and stuff like that to get your fear level up and his meat puppets will do a lot more damage to the survivors if their fear level is super high. And the last piece of information for this Who's Your Daddy pack is that obviously we're getting new outfits for Ash, Amanda, and Pablo as we've seen in that teaser trailer. So overall these new characters do sound pretty fun to use, this is pretty exciting. But moving on, we also have a gameplay teaser of Brock. Meet Dad of the Year, Brock Williams. Use his wisdom, obnoxious wits, and years of experience with all your hardware needs to fight evil. Brock from Ash vs Evil Dead will be part of the Who's Your Daddy bundle, available on April 26th. And here's a little gameplay teaser, and we do have some new stuff shown off in this teaser. The first thing we notice is that Brock is using a new submachine gun weapon. At least I think it's a submachine gun, but it does look like it shoots pretty slow. And then right here we get a glimpse of Leader Ash in the background using the new Asylum skin which does look super cool if I do say so myself and if you take a look at what Brock is holding in his hand it's a new melee weapon so that's cool can't really make out what it is exactly looks like some sort of pipe maybe I don't know but it looks like to be a blunt weapon and also a one-handed weapon and then at the end of this teaser we get a cleaner look at the old man himself are you guys excited to play as Brock Williams let me know down below but moving on we have a piece of information from a website called Jematsu, and they said that a Switch version of Evil Dead the game is also planned for release, but has yet to receive a release date. I mean, that's pretty exciting news. Putting it on the Switch and Steam will bring lots of more players, I think. Hopefully, the performance and quality is not too bad on the Switch, though. All right, now time for some patch notes or dev update on some things in the works. They say, Hey, survivors and demons, we wanted to share some changes that are coming in the Game of the Year updates. The following notes are based on current conversations we're seeing in the community and top feedback left by you on our feedback portal. So here are some of the notes and changes. First one is Ruby's active skill update. We plan to adjust Ruby's active skill which buffs your group to make it less powerful. Next one is too many vehicles. This has been the subject of many conversations with survivors and demons. We agree and plan to reduce the number of vehicles on the map. We hope this helps fix some of the early rush games that players have been experiencing. Next one is the Annie Nobi buff. We are making some updates to Annie's active skill so that it will receive a buff that increases the attack of other survivors in your group. Next one, Deadites jumping in and out of windows. In the next update, we're fixing the issue where Deadites being unable to jump in and out of windows on the Army of Darkness map. Next one, no damage after being revived. After successfully being revived, survivors will no longer take damage during the animation to a playable state. 
damage will only occur once you're able to move again. That sounds like a nice little buff to survivors. And the last little thing they have is just a little note. We have more planned updates coming on April 26th. Keep an eye on our socials and we'll share further details closer to their release. Thank you all for your ongoing support and stay groovy. Alright, that's everything about the new update we have so far. It's coming out on April 26th. What do you guys think about this update and everything else talked about in this video? Thanks for watching. Smack the like button for more Evil Dead the game news and updates. And subscribe, ring the bell icon to so notified every time we upload a brand new video. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.